What's up guys? The Star Wars 40th anniversary has kind of come to a close and I figured now would be a time maybe to just to do a little bit of an older Black Series review. It kind of goes along with the 40th and you know I do a lot of old uh, Masters of the Universe reviews. I might as well do this too because why not? So we've got the initial figure in the line, X-Wing Luke, who is obviously the uh, Celebration exclusive for the 40th anniversary line, so he's been reissued, so he's kind of, you know, back in the people's minds, so to speak. So let's take a quick look at packaging here. So this is the original box. This was the uh, quote-unquote orange line uh, for the initial wave. So it's just the black box. We got some artwork of Luke here on the top. We got his name down there on the bottom. Window for the figure and the accessories. The back has kind of, uh, you know, an outline type drawing of Luke, and this kind of corresponds to the same kind of three and three quarter inch black series packaging style that they had at the time as well. So they, they kind of matched in that regard. So we've obviously already got him pulled out. So let's take a closer look at this figure. All right, so here is our Luke Skywalker. And this guy is obviously the first figure in the line, first of the first wave. So maybe not the first figure, but he's one of the first four, really. He is number one, but they all came out at the same time. And I think, you know, initially this line was kind of you know, kind of going for broke in some ways. They they included a lot more stuff in most cases, and some of the figures had a lot more paint apps and sculpted detail on them, and I think maybe they were kind of more of a proof of concept early on, like, yeah, we can do this, and we can really make something out of this line. And ultimately, Black Series has become huge. It's obviously a big thing, but I think initially, uh, people might not have been, you know, really sure what to expect out of this line, and I think we got quite a bit, especially with this figure, in terms of what he offers. So... I'm going to start with articulation, so his head can go, you know, around and up and down. Pretty good backwards motion to look up. He's got, you know, quite a bit of a lean there. Arms can go up and out and all around. No bicep swivel, single-jointed elbow. Rotation at the wrist and a hinge there as well. It goes, um, you know, up and down, back and forth at the, you know, kind of like this. But the other hand is a vertical hinge, so it goes up and down in that manner. He does have a joint at the torso to give to offer a little bit of a rotation, but not much, and then some crunch action. Legs can go out, but you can't really do anything with that because of the straps on the, the outfit. There is a thigh cut, double jointed knees, there is a cut at the boot, and then he has a hinge and a rocker at the ankle. So he has kind of what becomes the standard for Black Series. As we've all seen over over the years, he is pretty much what you would expect for any figure to get at kind of the bare minimum. As far as the sculpt goes, I think that this guy, you know, he could become, we've still never gotten him, but he could become kind of the cookie cutter mold for some other pilots. So give me a Wedge, give me a Biggs, hell, give me a, give me a Porkins. I would love to have a Porkins uh, Black Series figure. Obviously, you would need a different body for that, though. Um, but I think that he's a he's a good kind of like I said earlier proof of concept that they can kind of nail some of these characters in this larger scale. Now this head, as far as sculpt goes, I think is pretty pretty good for the most part. It looks it looks like Hamill, you know, more so in some ways than others. Some kind of angles look a little better, some not so much. But I think it's pretty good. You know, they've changed. We know a lot about Black Series now, being years later. We know that there are a handful of uh, Lukes out there. You know, we've got X-Wing Luke, we've got Hoth Luke, we've got Bespin Luke, we've got Jedi Luke, still no Old Man Luke, and they all look different. They have varying degrees of, of head sculpt. So, I mean, this guy is kind of the quintessential younger Luke Skywalker, and I think they do a pretty good job of pulling off this head sculpt for the most part. That hair is sculpted really nice. It's got those kind of 70s windswept feathery type look about it. There's a lot of line work in that hair. There's a bit of a wash in there that brings it out. And I think for the most part, it, it looks enough like Mark Hamill that you know who this is supposed to be. Like, you know that this is not Biggs or Wedge or any other random X-Wing pilot. You know that this is Luke. Now, as far as the rest of the, the outfit, I think, like I said, you know, it could become the mold for other other figures, other characters. I think they do a really good job of putting all the little bits and bobs and things all over it. So the canisters on the on the boot, on the arm, the belt. He's got the he's got a loop for a lightsaber. 
the tubing and all the harness and straps everything is is you know there it looks really nice and overall he he looks good I'm, I'm very pleased with this figure i think early on this was one that i liked a lot more than some of the other ones and he still holds up i think and that that kind of maybe explains why people really want him still because not only is he you know a main character he is a pretty good version of that main character now as far as paint goes He's got a decent bit um, overall. I mean, he's obviously molded in a lot of orange plastic, but he's got a lot of shading and kind of dirt all over the uh, the flight suit, on the pads, on the pouches, just all over. It's kind of a it's kind of a darker, duller, you know, orangey brown mix almost. And then he's got you know where he, where he's got the little bits and bobs again. He's got painted detail. So the canisters on the boots have the detail. We've got on the on the side of his uh, left arm have that silver. We've obviously got white all over the chest piece, and then the chest plate has a ton of painted detail. So he is relatively loaded with paint apps for the most part, more so than a lot of other figures now anyway. And then of course that face has more paint on it as well. We've got some kind of skin tone paint on there. I'm not sure how thick that might be, but it looks pretty good. It's it's not bad. It's cer We've certainly seen much worse in this line than, than Luke Skywalker. He's got some pretty well done eyes as well they're very forward facing i don't have any issues on mine and then of course that hair is painted the kind of dirty blonde with some of that darker shading in there so overall i think he looks for the most part like you want luke skywalker luke skywalker to look if you want him in the x-wing suit all right now as far as accessories goes like i said he kind of comes with maybe a few more than you'd normally get anymore um he's got three so we'll start with the one that maybe doesn't really fit the character, it does, but it doesn't. So we've got, you know, his lightsaber. So this is Anakin's saber, but you don't ever see him use it in this capacity. You know, this is this is episode four, Luke. You don't see him in the X-Wing suit with this. He, you know, really doesn't use it at all except to train. So I don't really ever display it with him. I actually give it to um, my Finn figure because he doesn't have a lightsaber, and i rather him use a lightsaber than that ugly ass gun that he comes with. But Luke can hold it in you know either hand just fine. He can also, you know, hold it in both hands. He can kind of do a over over the arm grasping kind of look like that. And he can hold that just fine. Like I said, he does have the loop on his belt. So what they did, you know, this being the first lightsaber um for the mo you know, technically speaking, take it off and it can sit on his belt just like that have it hanging down but it looks good overall i mean it's it's a solid looking piece it's not bad uh, i just don't display him with it because it doesn't really it doesn't really fit the the look or the the outfit per se what he does come with is a, a blaster pistol and he obviously has a trigger finger so you give him the blaster pistol and while you know you don't see him do this either this more fits what he might have equipped on him as a pilot and then the last piece he comes with is the X-Wing pilot helmet. So he can actually wear this. So he can pop it over his head. The chin strap is kind of tight. It doesn't really, you know, fit too well. It's really tight, and I often worry about him, you know, maybe scratching some paint because that's on there. I also don't display him with it on his head, but it fits him well. It is molded in a clear plastic, so it has a ton of paint on it. And it's also got, uh, what do they call it, uh, some tampography to get some of the uh, the patterns and designs on there. But th it looks really good. It's got a lot of paint weathering on there along with all of the designs on it for, you know, him being in the Rebel fleet. So I think it's pretty cool. What, what I do with it, and this is how he comes packaged, but in the other hand, is I have him hold it like this. So he can actually hold on to his helmet, hold on to his gun and you know have him in a bit more dynamic pose rather than just standing there with his helmet on so i think they do a really good job of giving you quite a bit of stuff for this figure from the outset so he is the initial figure in the line so he had kind of you know some big shoes to fill when it comes to kind of leading this line but i think this figure is a good example of them doing pretty well with a humanoid character like i said they have faltered here and there with humans in this line they really excel with troopers and with aliens, but humans are kind of, they're kind of iffy sometimes, and there's some really good examples of that. Luke, this Luke is not one of them, though. He he looks 
relatively like Mark Hamill. He has a cool outfit. He has two different weapons and a helmet. I think you got your 20 bucks worth when this guy came out for sure. And if you're only getting him now in the celebration card back, you're definitely getting your money's worth because I think that is a cool card back. I like it. Uh, I'm a sucker for that. So, you know, you can't buy him like this anymore. But if you can get your hands on him, I would definitely recommend doing so because it's Luke Skywalker. Why wouldn't you want him? So that's going to do it for this review, everyone. I'm going to try to go through some more Black Series, some older stuff uh, as I mix in with some other reviews just to kind of keep things flowing. Come back for more. You know, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Do you have Luke Skywalker? Did you get him when he first came out or are you uh, sticking with the 40th anniversary? Let me know down below and until next time.